Hello, I'm John, and on today's product spotlight, I have a product from Atlas. Let's go to the workbench and take a look. All right, so true story. As I was opening the package just now to put this model down on the bench here, I said to myself, this is cool. <laughs> what you're looking at here is a Volvo bulldozer L150C. And this is one of several heavy equipment models we'll be looking at over the next couple few weeks here. This is HO scale and it goes for $21.95. And we're going to go all the way around this thing and take a really close look at it. I can tell you right now it's a combination of die cast metal and plastic. And I'm already seeing a lot of interesting possibilities with this one. Let's take a closer look. The tires are separate, I guess plastic, but they're kind of a soft plastic. They might even be rubber. So you can actually pull them off of the rims, which is kind of cool. It pivots like so. So if you want to have it as an action shot, you know, like this, like it's turning, you could certainly do that on your layout. The shovel also raises and lowers and pivots this way. So you could pose this in a number of different ways if you wanted to. One thing I'm a little bit surprised at is that there's not a figure in there. I thought for sure they would have a little guy driving this thing, but they don't. So I suppose I'm not sure you can do this, but if you could take it apart, you could probably put your own figure in there. And when I said I was getting ideas about what you could do with it, that would also require you to take it apart. Because I was thinking it would be cool to light up the, the beacon. So, not sure. I'm going to look at it more closely here for a second. And I'll let you know what it looks like to me about whether you can take it apart or not. So, what my investigation revealed is... I'm going out of order here. We're looking at the bottom now. It does have a series of little screws. These are little Phillips head screws. So my initial suspicion is that you can probably take this thing apart and light it up and put a little figure in there if you want to. So we're looking at really what could be the front or the back. I think this is considered the back because if you look, you can see your rear view mirrors are up here. But you can see that there's a logo for Volvo here and also on the grill. And you can see the exhaust here. That's a nicely done exhaust too, actually. It's pretty to scale. And this is very convincing. This will look really great on a construction scene, probably on any more modern layout. So something else really cool that I noticed as I was examining this side is these are grills here. That's see-through. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's pretty cool. It's a little step there, right? You can see through it just like you'd be able to on the real one. I'm thinking these ladders or stepways to get into the cab are kind of thick. But you know what? On a model railroad layout, I don't think anybody's going to be scrutinizing your heavy machinery. So, but that's pretty cool. So I'm pretty impressed with this model. It's a nice representation of an actual prototypical bulldozer that you would find on construction sites anywhere. So it would make adding a construction site to your layout a lot easier. And, you know, you can weather these things and make them look just like the real thing, just like we do with our trains. So good job, Atlas. I'll see you next time.